watch this comment. You're ruining the video. <laughs> you don't like kettlebells either. Just swing them. Alright guys, spoiler alert, the video is about why I don't like or use kettlebells. So, disclaimer, this is for me, okay? this is my take on the tale of the kettlebell. I'm a strength sport athlete, and sometimes I see strength sport athletes using kettlebells, and I would say it's in, improper use, or they just shouldn't really be using kettlebells. Right? Our main focus here is to get stronger. Uh, and nothing wrong with kettlebells, I think they, they have their place, but for my training, not so much. And the reason being is, say you're trying to use kettlebells to get strong, all right? And you're someone like myself or Coach Matt behind the camera. Basically, the heaviest kettlebells that we have here would probably be 100 pounds, okay? This is a, like a 70 pounder. Say we have two 100 pound kettlebells, all right? We're trying to get better at deadlifting. The total weight is going to be 200 pounds. Now, for someone who's just beginning or just getting into it, that will, will get you some progress, but only gets you so far. And then when that happens, I just think using a barbell is just way more efficient in terms of strength training, okay? So one of the reasons I don't like them is just why I said that is because you can only go so far in terms of strength with kettlebells for the main movements. However, for small movements or accessory hypertrophy, you may get away with using kettlebells and that's fine. That's where they can be used. Uh, but I primarily don't use them. I'd rather either just use a dumbbell or a barbell for most of my stuff. So that's kind of where I stand on that. The other thing about a kettlebell, when you use it, uh, even for conditioning, is you tend to get pretty efficient at using the implement. So therefore, uh, you're not getting a great stimulus out of it because of how quickly you become efficient at doing uh, the movement, all right? So for those of you just beginning, yes, you're gonna get something out of it, but the more you do it, the better you get at it, and therefore, uh, you're not gonna get the best stimulus possible and it's like if we were trying to use kettlebells, we need to keep buying more and more and heavier and heavier. And at that point, like I said, it's just not effective and not as efficient, okay? So uh, from that standpoint, I just don't see them very practical. The other point is they're expensive. So if I were going to use them and I was gonna keep buying and buying them, it's a huge chunk of change, okay? So it's something you have to consider and I don't wanna act like that's not a, an issue for, for some people, right? We wanna get the best bang for our buck. So. This is a pretty hefty price uh, piece of equipment. So you're, you're probably better off by either finding some dumbbells or finding a barbell and some weight that you can do a lot more than the kettlebell, all right? So just kind of recapping with kettlebells uh, for strength training, okay? If they're smaller movements or accessory things, I think they're okay if you have the proper weight. I would not really recommend using them uh, for someone who's trying to get super duper strong and I would stay in your specific wheelhouse, okay? If you're doing bench, squat, deadlift, overhead press, all right, the kettlebell isn't gonna help you out so much. Um, so that's just my take on it. For conditioning, I believe that you can use them uh, to the degree at which you're getting results and you're getting the proper stimulus. If you're no longer getting the results or the proper stimulus, I would move on and, and find something else that you can, okay? So that's uh, kind of my take on the bells. Now, when have I used them or when have the athletes here used them the most? I would say doing some conditioning, we use them. Doing some accessory movements, we use them, like I mentioned. Uh, doing things like carries, okay? So whether it's a farmer carry, it's a single arm carry, it's a loaded front rack carry, maybe it's an overhead carry, all right, people use them. Uh, like I said in my battle video, I've used them for holding other pieces of equipment or holding a rack down, uh, putting a rope through them. So there's, there's different uses you can get out of your kettlebells, uh, but for the most part, I really am not using them much and when I do for me personally it's probably gonna be for some sort of carry uh, variation um, or maybe some quote-unquote core work like if you're doing Russian twists or you're doing some oblique raises uh, or you're kind of just using it as a tactile uh, piece of equipment for like plank reaching out or touching um, so that's pretty much the take on the kettlebells I know I've offended a lot of Russians out there all right no the uh, What's his name? Uh, is it Pat? Who is it? Who is it? Pat? What's his name, Matt? I don't know who you're guessing here. Come on. Who's the guy who loves Who's the guy who loves kettlebells? Pavel. That's what I meant. Pavel. I was thinking Pavlov. That's my psychology background uh, coming to fruition there. But uh, no. So uh, Pavel is probably offended because Pavel has cured world hunger and all the global problems with the kettlebell. Still spit on the Joe Rogan podcast, so I just can't throw up too much hate because I've been on the Joe Rogan podcast, so I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. 
Uh, but yeah, so kettlebells in a nutshell for you guys. Maybe you guys took something from that, maybe you didn't. Like I said, this is my personal opinion on why well, I use them. I'm sure people are gonna argue with me and that's fine. I'm used to it now. Uh, so have some arguments in the comment sections, guys. I'll be sitting here with my popcorn, uh, you know, eating it up, watching you guys destroy each other. Until then, stay lean me, try machine. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.